हेलो ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर दीपक शर्मा आई एम द इमरजेंसी मेडिसिन कंसल्टेंट एट मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल खराड़ी पुणे एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज ब्लीडिंग सो ब्लीडिंग टेक्स प्लेस वेन एवर देर इज अ ब्रिज इन द इंटेग्रिटी ऑफ अ ब्लड वेसल इन साइड द बॉडी सो वी हैव न्यूमरस ब्लड वेसल्स इन साइड द बॉडी लाइक आर्टरीज वेन्स एंड ब्लड इज कंटिन्यूसली सर्कुलेटिंग थ्रू दीज ब्लड वेसल्स सो वेन एवर देर इज अ ब्रेक इन द इंटेग्रिटी एज इन इन्फ्लोमेशन और रपच्चर इन द ब्लड वेसल द ब्लड टेंस टू स्पिल आउट इन द लोकेशन वेर इट्स नॉट नॉर्मली सपोज टू बी प्रेजेंट दिस इज ब्लीडिंग now it can happen due to a number of reasons most commonly bleeding happens due to traumatic reasons so any trauma to any part of the body like your head neck skin any cuts any bruises these are all examples of bleeding happening due to trauma to the body where there's a breakage in the integrity of a blood vessel and the blood tends to seep out this is bleeding and some of the reasons of bleeding there are other reasons of bleeding Uh, like any inter diseases like liver disease it leads to uh, dysfunction of the clotting factors so that can result into bleeding also medication induced bleeding like if you are on many blood thinners like antiplatelet uh, tablets so you can also have prolonged bleeding so if you undergo any uh, procedures like any surgeries for example any dental procedure that can lead to prolonged bleed bleeding or just any trauma like falling down Uh, hitting uh, having a cut on a skin these all can uh, things can result into bleeding so bleeding majorly there are two types of bleeding one is external bleeding and one is internal bleeding so external bleeding is as it describes uh, there is blood is externally seeping out of the blood vessels so we can visibly see the obvious bleeding happening on the skin surface or from the wound that has been sustained that is called as external bleeding or external hemorrhage that can which can be easily seen like having a cut or having a, any trauma to the part of a, any part of the body can lead result into external bleeding any internal bleeding like having an internal injury in the brain or internal bleeding in the abdomen due to trauma where you there in those cases you cannot see the blood outside of the body so the that is what is called as internal bleeding that the there is bleeding happening inside of the body but not outside of the body so we cannot appreciate that there is bleeding happening where the still the bleeding is actually happening but we cannot uh, appreciate that the bleeding is still happening that is internal bleeding so bleeding depending on what is the injury can be very minor or can be very major and also dangerous to the body so sometimes if we have a trauma to the head there can be internal head injury there can be internal bleeding and that can be very serious and dangerous even to the life of the body sometimes there is external bleeding from the head from the scalp which is very profuse sometimes you get a cut over the head and you see blood all over your face in a very short span of time a lot of quantity of blood so that can be uh, very serious uh, and life threatening because in some parts of the body we have lot of density of blood vessels so uh, for example on the scalp there is a very high density of blood vessels so if there is a injury to the scalp there will be a lot of bleeding from the scalp also to the palms there is a lot of capillaries in the palms so if there is a cut there there can be a lot of bleeding so depending on what what is the source of the bleeding bleeding can be really dangerous whether it's internal bleeding external bleeding and it can lead to hemorrhagic shock and then also eventual death of a patient so any first aid in any case of minor bleeding uh, what you need to do is first give compression any site wherever on the body you find any bleeding any from any wound you have to first give a good compression to it for at least 20 to 30 minutes because we have clotting factors inside our blood so once you give some pressure the blood tends to form a platelet plug on it over the wound and the bleeding tends to stop on its own but you need to give good firm pressure at least for 20 to 30 minutes over the bleeding site of the body that leads to stopping of the bleeding 
in other cases you can also lead do elevation of the limb so for example if you have a cut over your arm you can gently apply compression and lift the arm so that the blood circulation to the wound gets decreased and the bleeding tends to get lower than before so these are some of the first aid things you can do in cases of bleeding give good compression and you can also give elevation and give compression with a firm a uh, force so not very excessive force and not very light force it should be a firm force a good compression over the bleeding and then you have to urgently take the patient to the nearest hospital